In this video we are going to talk about Glasgow City of Scotland. So before starting this video please like this video and subscribe our channel for future updates. Here's some information about the points of interest in Glasgow, Scotland. 1. Glasgow City Centre Glasgow's vibrant city centre lies north of the River Clyde. Its heart is George Square, a 19th century municipal showpiece, crowned by the city chambers. The commercial centre spreads west of George Square, with a large grid system of roads lined by Grand Victorian buildings and modern skyscrapers. The city centre offers some of the best shopping experiences outside of London, along streets like Ardell Street, E. Cannon Street and Sortiole Street. Major cultural offerings include the Gallery of Modern Art, the Royal Concert Hall, and the Theatre Royal. <laughs> 2. Albert Bridge The Albert Bridge spans the River Clyde in Glasgow, near Glasgow Green. It's opened in 1871 and links the salt market in the city centre with Crown Street on the south side. The bridge is category listed and named after Queen Victoria's consort, Prince Albert. It's the fifth bridge built on this site in Glasgow, replacing previous structures like Hutchison Bridge and a masonry arch bridge designed by Robert Stevenson. 3. Nelson Monument Located within Glasgow Breen, the Nelson Monument is a commemorative obelisk built in honor of Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson. Nelson died at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. 4. Central Station Glasgow Glasgow Central is one of two principal mainline rail terminals in Glasgow. Opened by the Caledonian Railway in 1879, it's an iconic landmark located adjacent Glasgow Central Station. The historic building is steeped in 19th century railway history and offers unrivaled glamour combined with convenience. 6. Tradeston Bridge also known as the Squiggly Bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge that spans the River Clyde and was opened on 14 May 2009. It connects the districts of Anderston and Tradeston, aiming to aid the regeneration of Tradeston by linking it to the city's financial district. The bridge features a distinctive S shape and is used by pedestrians and cyclists, with no motorized traffic allowed. Seven, Kingston Bridge, a balanced cantilever bridge that carries the M8 motorway through the city centre. It's one of the busiest bridges in Europe, with around 150,000 vehicles crossing daily. The bridge was opened by Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother on 26 June 1970. Eight, Clyde River. The River Clyde is Scotland's most famous and important river. Flowing into the Firth of Clyde, it has been historically significant for shipbuilding and trade, especially during the British Empire. The river runs through the major city of Glasgow and has undergone expensive regeneration in recent years. <laughs> I 
I go by don't do freak freak I go by I I go to freak Get that go get that do put on the freak freak Get that bit go get that go get that do put on the freak freak Get that bit go I go I I I do with this that I I get the I go I I go that I do that go I go with it I just I I do This is S E C and Ovo Hydra S E C Scott is event campus known previously as the S E C. She Scott is exhibition and conference center. It's a major venue for music, shows, and public events. The campus includes the SEC Center, the iconic SEC Armadillo, and the Ovo Hydro, a concert and events arena. It's a hub for national and international events and is part of the Glasgow Harbour Regeneration Project. But I the Ovo Hydro is a prominent feature in Glasgow, Scotland. It's a large indoor arena located within the Spottis Event Campus. This is Glasgow Science Centre. The Glasgow Science Centre is a prominent visitor attraction located on the south bank of the River Clyde in Glasgow, Scotland. It's a place where people of all ages can come to explore and understand the world around them through science and technology. And oh, oh, oh. Kelvin Rove Art and Museum is a fascinating cultural institution located in Glasgow, Scotland. Let me share some interesting details about it. The museum opened its doors in 1901 and has since become one of Scotland's most popular free attractions. The building itself is an architectural gem, designed in a Spanish, Baroque style and constructed using Lockerbricks red sandstone a Glaswegian tradition. Thanks for watching this video please like share this video and subscribe this channel thanks but